made her back from the big old city titty. Yeah, I'm miles moved there. I've been there every freaking day this week. Uh, I think we're sitting right around one inch of rain right now. So that's good. I'm going to take it. Uh, some guys are pissy that they can't, uh, can't see it yet, but I don't give a shit. I like that. It's nice. Nice for the grass. Nice for the moisture, which there is none. Really, you know, we're, we're sitting all right for seeding there, but you never poo-poo the rain because you may not get her back. Check out the merch, boys. Just king. Okay, so I uh, yeah, I made a big trip to the city and oh, fucking mess in here. That's what I should do on these rainy days. But I choose not to. Still raining. It uh, hasn't quit yet. But it smells like shit here. So we had to get a new gun. New Ivamet gun because uh, the other one decided not to work anymore. Got a new box of that for the bulls. We're going to try to kick those guys out. Got a set of oxygen acetylene for the service truck. Box of wrenches. Picked up this uh, thing in town here from Greg's Distributors. They, uh, they're they on for 85 bucks right now. It's a pry bar set you can hit with a hammer. And they uh, tell me there's warranty on it, so that's even better. Anyway, that's what I needed. This one I got from town was 4-inch. But uh, somebody told me to get a 4-inch. I shouldn't have listened to them and measured it. And... Uh, We'd be laughing. <laughs> oh, frick's sake. Nick, you bastard. Oh, well. We're going to get uh, that pipe cut that we took off the tractor in the rain. I want to get this all fixed here before uh, uh, before we can go again. So I'll get her set up here and I'll bring you back in a minute. There. That should be good. New flange. Right to the old turd bowl. Sweet. Now I can put this back in the 895 when she dries up. And uh, she'll be good to go. So what i done to make a straight cut is I measured from here to here. And then I measured the same thing on the old guy. On here. Then I put a piece of tape around it to, to make a straight cut. And I just cut along the tape. Good enough. Fucking simple. And uh, quick. So... There we go, mint. Well, we got the exhaust fixed. Took the uh, service truck over to the bins way over there. And uh, hopefully don't get attacked by some coots. Uh, the drill is way up there. Tractor, my feed truck. Took the feed truck, fed some bowls over at the other pasture. And uh, Fix the exhaust in there and I'm gonna take that back to the bin because uh, this shit in here I haven't seeded yet. The other stuff I went all the way over there along the fence line. Uh, did the, whatever 80 acres in there. Then I seeded 20 or 30 acres out in the uh, along the fence line. Or maybe it was 90 and 30. There's around 116 acres we got out of that fill there. So that was alright. I think we went on it. 54 pounds 53.7 pounds and I aim for 55 so that's good enough We usually see the lentils at around 50 anyway, so that's good uh, We took uh, one, two, two loads of bulls the yearlings and two-year-olds out to the pasture and Then a guy phoned right as soon as we got back to the yard to load our last load of bulls and he bought one so That's fun. Now we got to round them up and load them up and take them there. Like, dang it. Too bad they didn't get them while he was in the yard still. So. Oh well, whatever, shit happens. So, I hope uh, everybody got a little shot of rain out of that last little deal there. That was nice. There's nothing growing here yet. So I'm hoping that uh, this rain's going to germinate something. Because there's shit all... 
and uh, you know how lentils compete with stuff they seem to grow in the weeds but uh, the weeds like to take the yield a bit so keep my eye peeled if I got any weeds coming um what else okay we took uh, yeah, three loads of bowls or two in a bit because there's only two on that last load and then what the hell was there one two four loads of heifers in a bowl over to the other pasture so that was good so yeah more and more out of the yard every day which helps less feeding less fucking around in the morning so minty all right i'm gonna let you go i'll keep trekking my way over to the old versatile i think uh, mom's coming to help me move and then uh i don't need to walk back for the next trip so they're only in town where the fuck's town right there you see the elevator that's town so we're not too far out of town she was on the phone with old granny shooting the shit i guess so that's it. Oh, yeah, I'll send her out right away. Okay, good enough. So, anyway, I guess that's it for now. Oh, yeah, Carter's going to come out tomorrow. I think he's going to work on that uh, other semi flat deck trailer we bought there for get uh, some plywood put on the deck. Pretty rough shape the deck. We're going to change some boards and then line the whole deck with plywood, I think. And then put the tanks up there. I think we'll probably only put two tanks, only a single axle, so that's probably heavy enough. And then hook that behind the old furred. So yeah, I think that's all I know for now. So we'll talk at you in a little while. How are you now? Got some nice blue green lentils going in there. Actually they're reds, but they're kind of, uh, a little bit damp, but they're breaking up pretty good going into the dark here. She's windier in the bugger, so sorry about the wind. Just got to deal with it. Uh, yeah, it's too fucking windy out here. I'm almost losing my hat, so that's what I'm up to. 60 mile, 60k wind, 70k wind, something like that. It's terrible. Indian head weather report. Hang on to your wig, you old cotton cop. Oh yeah! No exhaust leaks! Woohoo! Nice! Alright, let's give her the old 1-2 here. Okay, well that's good. Good thing I came back here and didn't hop in. Forgot to stick the pin in the old girl. Oh, where are we here? Right there. Can you see? There it is. Right there. Nice. All right. Now see we got boss and seed. Probably about 35 bushels on the ground. <laughs> yeah, good enough. There's little blue buggers everywhere. So far, so good. Not a whole lot there, but old hose ain't cracked and she ain't plugged, so that's good. Okay. Now let's just go for a quick run here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that, eh? How does that even happen? Just right on the old spike. We'll try and find it again. All right. That's what we're looking for. Guys, there's the foss. Looks good. You know what we're looking for, guys? You see anything goofy? Let me know in the comments. Oh, piece of twine. Nice. Alrighty, we're good. We are golden boys. Let's rock.
back. We just got a big rain. My windshield white rain, where the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I think I gotta bend it or something. She's a little stiff. It's like straight pipes in the morning. Well, I don't know how many acres we got done here this afternoon. 267, we only done about 20 acres. And uh, it was spitting this morning, so I didn't want to treat any seed. And I thought, well, I'll make a quick run up here. I'll bring the tractor some fuel. And I came up, and uh, it was just a little, little shot of rain. And then uh, the sky kind of opened up a little bit, and I thought, well, piss on it. I'm going to go and treat a load of lentils. So that's what I did. And I uh, came up about 9, 9.30. Got the drill ready, tractor ready, checked it over, and uh, filled the lentils. And now we're rolling, but it looks like we got a little shower. So I don't know how many acres we got left, 270. We got about 20 acres left, so like a half hour ish and we'll be done as long as we don't get a downpour i'm gonna keep giving her here it seems to not be picking up on the packers too bad so such is life nice all right so i think uh we're about two and a half to three inches in so I don't think we'll be seeding tomorrow. Anyway, rain's good. Oh, I got something going on here. These bulls are fucking around. Better get her fixed up here. Who's a kid in that? Fucking old Cadillac Ranch. Just mint. So, <coughs> holy shit, there's smoke in here. <sighs> My big door for a minute. There, let the old smoke cheech right out of here. All right, so, got the trailer done, well this side, got, uh, here let me show you, where's my cord now? All right up here, all right, let's see. Can't wait to get this out of here and clean this place. There we go. Plug her in. Turn it on. What the hell? Oh, because I unplugged it. Took my ground off. Whoops. Let's do this. Well, how am I going to do this here? Stupid thing. My ground's ground clamps a little shit you stay there nice check it out boys drop my phone my don't you there we go so when we first started this job I'll show you what the other side looked like the main frame on here was just shit so we cut it out uh, this was the only good section right there from that paint job to this paint job. That was it. The rest was rotted right out. All the wires were hanging down. The airlines were hanging down. Uh, we got new airlines in there. Ran them through the thing. I cut a hole through. Got this done. I ran new power wire to there. Tail lights are working. I got to close this off yet and this off. And uh, she's pretty much done. So... You probably wonder what that all is that just smeared silicone in there because I just stitch welded that panel so she didn't work too much and then that way I get a decent paint job on her when I decide to paint it but this way it's uh it's sealed up so yeah so if you like this kind of stuff I wouldn't recommend doing it myself uh it was not even fun not fun at all this is what the other side looked like. See that? That's what it looked like. Stick a hammer through it. So pretty much from there to there is about the same. 
distance of good stuff all that shit underneath the old zip ties and buy supplies flag there that's uh for the mainframe here so we'll get that cut out next time but we got to get this trailer out and over to this side of the shop once i get this all cleaned out and i'm all just back her right in there and then she's out of the way but uh i think i'm going to use it for seating because we're going to dump some grain in here and then we'll just treat out of this thing into the other trailer i think is the plan so right now uh let's shut this off for a quick minute all i did was hook up the uh booster to the uh power wire for the clearance lights just so that i made sure that they worked so that's what i was doing and now i'm going to uh what i did was i cut this tube a little bit longer and i notched the back out and we're just going to suck that in to cap it then i'll clean up this and then away we go so this was two by five so i used uh, a two by four plus a one by two to get my five and this will be way stronger than the old one because there's two seams plus you got that uh, 150 wall uh, steel in between there so that should work good so we just got to get this clamped and I'll cut that down on an angle so it matches this and uh, we'll get that welded up and that'll be an end cap then I'll get this cleaned up get this fucker bent over get that all good looking and uh, yeah we should be laughing so little shout out to my buddy Mark at Twin Sticks Garage if you uh, like this kind of big rigging stuff, he's been doing a uh, bunch of semi shit over there. My buddy Blake's been doing some welding for him and stuff like that. So go check out his channel, Twin Sticks Garage. I'll uh, leave a link there and you guys go give it a boo. He's good shit, old Mark and Blake. Blake's got his own channel, Flywell Fabricate. He's a good dude too, so go check him out. They could use a few more subs. Actually, Twin Sticks doesn't. He's he's got lots, but he's a good guy. You can go give him a check out anyhow. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to this deal here. He's kind of dark over in this corner, and the cats are being a holes. Oh, a cardboard box. Let's go try it out. Check it out, man. Not today. Oh, he's thinking about it. All right, I'm gonna give her shit here. I want to get this done tonight, so. Man, I don't even know what the last <coughs> last clip was, but this is what we're doing now. <laughs> so this morning I pulled the bull, <coughs> or Ashley and I pulled the bull out, one of them. So we only got one red bull working in that other pen right now, so that's good. Old illicit is giving her shit. Actually, there's not too many open, but just kind of convenient how... Uh, how the uh, bowls don't wreck the pen anymore when there's only one in there so Uno could have stayed in but he was related to the pen that Alyssa was in so that's why that's why we had them separate so we yanked furred out and uh, that's that so most of them are gonna be bred I think we'll probably send a bull over to the excuse me over to the pasture for for a couple days and then uh yeah good enough so i gotta jack away on this son of a son of a bitch i don't think uh it's gonna be that easy to do but you know, never know have to get the weight off there first so all righty so we got, instead of having all couplers, I uh, ran it all in and uh, barb fitting them all. This time, instead of having, you know, like male and female banjos at every at the tank, and then I had them at the T here, and then I had them up there at that tank, and every one of them always leaked. So, when I set up this new trailer, I took the... Uh, banjo fittings out and just put barb fittings on with uh, hose clamps like that hose clamps there that's the only 
banjo fitting on that plumbing and as of right now it's not leaking so at least when we go to take these tanks off to haul bales later on uh, uh, we can take that tank off and then take this tank off with the hoses now after uh, seeding I got the red trailer and I have three tanks well I don't yet I got one at the front and I gotta get another tank and then I'm gonna have three on it and then we'll use it for spraying later but we're gonna set it up the same way and then have this here like that and then what we'll do is we'll just cap that off and then we just need to take the pump and the cam handler off of this trailer skid it over onto the other one and then the other one becomes the sprayer trailer after uh, we're done hauling liquid fertilizer so that's the plan damn pump wouldn't fucking start again son of a bitch so I took the old took the old uh, tip cleaner to the jet underneath up in the bowl there and uh, seems to be working now so water's nice and clean so far we'll get a full tank on here I've seen I got a low tire on this side so that's gonna have to be addressed it's not terrible yet but once I get it loaded up we'll see what it's like probably have to get some air or take it off and take it in and get it fixed that was another thing I wanted to do there's something on that side whoops I don't know if there's any wire in here nope. oh well that's fine I wanted some wire to uh, tie that freaking Tie that hose down. My spur fill hose. See, I got a bit of a drip here. I'm gonna have to get a, another hose clamp for there. But on this guy, I wanna get this like this. How convenient. Look at that. Oh, nice. Let's get this piece of wire off here. And then we can use this. See we can see if we can get her out of here. Although having fires and stuff. Actually I do got a set of fires in there, but we won't need them if we don't need them. There we go. Alright, so I've just seen a piece of wire dangling on there. Just dangling. I'm not sure why I shut you off, but anyway, what I'm going to do is, we'll tie this wire here, here maybe I can set you up here, tie this wire like this somehow, something like that, and then, this son of a biscuits. Like that. And then we'll go through here. Actually, better way. There we go. Nice and tight. Go like that. And that'll work. There. Good enough. Now we know it ain't gonna fall off. Uh, when I was driving over here, I came out the back of the yard and I noticed that I had a lot of slack on the side while it was hanging down way down here. So, yeah, definitely need some air in there. Uh, so what had happened is this just slid back like this was sitting here. It didn't fall off, but I suppose you get giving her down the old road and it'll happen. All right, well, we'll keep filling her up here. We're about uh, a little over half full. And then we'll uh, take it back to the shop and we'll check all these tires, see what we need for air, which one's low. Nice to have a mud flap for here, but I don't got one. That's all right. You don't need a mud flap. Nice. Another piece of wire. Sweet. Nice. Governor. 
Making tracks, boys. Making tracks. Trying to seed these lentils out. Got them treated and they've been in the tank there for uh, a day and a half. So, better get them out. It's working up pretty good. It's not leaving clumps or nothing. I slowed down a bit tonight. So, see how she goes. I'm only, what am I, 1,650 RPMs tonight. 1700 something like that that's not too bad yeah so i'm just trying to i think i got about 20 acres left in this field so i just want to get her done and uh the more i can treat some more seed and i can get some floss and all that good stuff so start over it's a new day tomorrow hopefully i can uh no breakdowns over here tonight and uh, move over to the next piece tomorrow morning so after chores and whatever but nice to get those cows all out one of these days that's how she goes 40 feet at a time up and down up and down nice to the rainer quarter well, actually it's a half but it seeds a quarter so that's where we're headed next see you when we get there we'll have to do the old shoot check and fucking king alrighty let's go have a peek here Do the old run check here. See if she's got any runs. Lentils, lentils, lentils. Foss, lentils. Nice. So all we're doing, like I said before, 
We just check for the seed. If there's any seed underneath, then we're good. It's good there. I'll just scoot around back. See, I got a hydraulic hose there I got to change. That's good. Yep. I don't know how that got bent. Yeah, we got there. See that hose dripping. I have to take take that off tomorrow when I get home. It's only for my wing fold, so should only leak when I fold her up, but anyway, we'll see. Looks like we're good, boys. Looks like we're good. There we go. Nice. All right, let's ride. Got a few tips there that are getting more out. I can tell they're starting to get a little bit scooped, but we'll have to change a few ones. Uh, Change a few once we get into liquid fertilizer because if those plug off, then we got yellow strips and I hate that. Probably get a leave 
with all the sticky shit on the window, so that's all right. We'll leave her where she is. Right up to here. All right, well, I'm going to keep going here. i got a sharp turn up ahead here. And uh, we'll chat at you in a minute. Well, we got the other side. Oh, there's a yoke. Freaking old yoke. Can you guys see him or no? Right, right there. See him there a little bit. Oh, yeah. Fucking yokes. Oh, well. Let's get you zoomed back out here. Uh, I was just about to say I got that other side of that bush done. I got 85 acres over there. And uh, just moved across here. And my wife brought me a burger and a coffee. Fucking minty old lady. Hey, nice. Her and the kids come for a little chin wag. And now they're going for a walk, I guess. So. Man, I really want to get some drone footage. But it's so fucking windy. Like 60k wind here. Within the next... If it's not windy, it's raining, it seems. So, well, whatever. I'll take the rain, I guess. But... I'd like to get some good, good old drone footage for you guys. Maybe later, maybe in the next video. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we're gonna get these headlands done here, and I'm just about to come up to the road here. So hopefully I don't leave uh, too much misses or overlaps. But it's kind of a sharp little turn coming up here. We'll see how she looks. Bullshit with old Ice T there, old Northern Farmer on the loop tubes, and uh, this tractor's giving them a bit of grief for the old batteries. Fucking batteries, eh? Kits and tires and batteries cost you money. Oh well. Could be the alternator too, I suppose. I'm not sure. He, I haven't talked to him in the last few minutes. I showed him a picture of my. Hounds bill gal with fries and gravy and he called me a fucker <laughs> and uh yeah he said why would you do that to me i'm hungry so anyway ate the damn thing fuck it's good right from the old barn town king all right well i'm gonna keep on giving it here and i'll see if anything happens and i'll probably flip you back on here in a couple minutes come on old Stan what the hell is going on here something's buggered up stupid phone oh I think I think she's time for a new one scrap metal right nice look at that high idle idle so obviously we moved home last night and uh just gonna treat the rest or sorry i have I treated the rest of uh, my lentils and we may have to pick some more up. So they're treated, inoculated, ready to go into the drill. Can you guys see the hopper there? Oh, kinda. You can get her close and then check it. Hurt. Try right there. Oh, Tyson sent me a message. Nice. His uh, 
Auto sear must be working better. Looks like he was all in the green there last night on his instant gram, so that's good. Oh fuck, we're just perfect, guys. We're just mint. All right. So this morning, I had to take uh, the wing fold hose off. I've seen the leak there. I don't know if it's in the last video or or what it was, but anyway. Uh, she was leaking some oil pretty severely in the end here. I got it, brought it home last night and just parked it overnight and it was, well, sunk down to the boot. So I figured, you know what, best be, best be time getting that changed. I don't know how high I can go here. Not quite all the way. Maybe that'll be good. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where she's at. Oh yeah, just about to fuck up the hopper. Perfect. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna get Phil in here. I'll bring you back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mixing in good. That was a little bit I swept out of the truck, and uh, well, it'll blend in. It'll be fine. It's nice and blue, so I'm not worried about it. If I get a full load here, frick, I might have enough uh, seed here to finish that quarter. We'll see. I might not need any, but. We'll see how she goes, boys. We'll see how she goes. Well, she's going nice, but the fucking auto steer. Holy man, is this map moving today. Just all over the map. <laughs> it's a uh, really bad day for the old satellites. It's a constant nudge. Get her going straight, and then all of a sudden it'll fuck off, foot and a half one way, and then comes back, and then yeah, it's not not good. So I know that one one time I started at the back there, and uh, by the time I got well to that bush right over here, I was overlapping by four feet or eight feet, I mean. Yeah, I decided to let it go one time and I thought, oh my god, is this bad? So, I've just been kind of following my old mark. Like there's probably a swather track or whatever that track is that was uh, good from last year. So, that's all I'm following right now. I'm just slowly nudging back and forth, which is fucking shitty, but whatever. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to want to go straight so the satellites must be getting interfered or something like that I'm gonna have to look it up do some reading here in a bit I can't trust the fuck thing to go straight so they can't do nothing you just got to be on the old nudge button here it's like I said it kind of sucks but what are you gonna do but I'd sooner have an overlap than a fucking miss I hate misses Oh man. Misses suck. Leave spots for weeds to grow. But anyway, so I tell you that, I've been having a lot of fun. It's probably another one of my straightest fields I got, and uh, the auto steer's acting up. It's awesome. But anyway, such is life. I'm gonna keep going here and uh oh no you know what i did see something this morning on the news about the solar deal so i bet you that's what it is something like that bugging the guy really getting to me i was ready to throw this fucking thing out and i'm like well we'll just see what it does so might have to upgrade the old satellite i'll let you know how it works out we used to be on uh, Omnistar XP back in the day and uh, never give us minutes of trouble. Uh, we were on we were on our, uh, Slingshot RTK, which is a Raven RTK through the Trimble. <coughs> and uh, it worked really good. It was really good accuracy. Would really hold the line good, but uh, it would take forever to get going and uh, what else oh, and it would shut down at midnight it seemed when 
when I when I was praying at midnight or whatever, the uh, fucking thing would kick out and then I never had nothing. So we always ended up back on shitty old loss anyway. But oh well. Look at this thing. Where are you going now? Over a foot. Let's see if she lines up here. Yeah. As of right now, we'll leave it there and see what happens. See how it just keeps wanting to wander over, wander over. Hopefully, it don't, but see what happens. Stupidness. You pay for this technology and you're expecting it to work, and it don't work. It's even worse. Oh well. In a few. <laughs> well, how are you now? Come on, Tim's. Give a guy a sponsor, you cheap motherfuckers. We are uh, heading home with the service truck. I brought the old white and the stone picker up. And Karch is going with the sprayer during this good old solar flare. It's just been just uh, having a gay old time with the old auto steer, so. Anyway, whatever is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta drive it. The spare you can't drive because, uh, well, you could. I guess you could map it, but all the auto shut off is run by satellite too. So hopefully it's working. Glad it's not in crop season and uh, not being able to spray. But. night finished them up about oh, I don't know 12 30 and uh, gonna go switch out and hopefully get going on wheat here today so that's why I need the service truck for my compressor I could pull it up to the shop but then I got grain all over the fucking front yard and I don't want that so keep all the mess out back fucking cow scraped me with shit or bull I mean Move them guys out this morning the big hurt tires there so that'll be good get those guys eating grass less bales less feeding less time in the yard in the morning nice alrighty well I'll uh, she's windy so I don't know how much good footage I'll give you but uh, I'll figure that out when we get back to the yard here and that's how long it took me to fuck around all the tips are plugged with mud. We had to get that going. How to fix the hitch on the car, so I'll show you in the daylight. We're just filling with wheat here now. I got Foss in the front tank already. I got to fill with uh, nitrogen and sulfur. And then uh, I treated a batch of fucking, well, a whole truckload I treated into the semi trailer. I dollied that off. And then we hooked up the semi to the flat deck. I got to get more tanks on there yet. But, uh, yeah, other than that, just giving her shit. I don't know if it's going to hold all this or not. It doesn't matter. I just made sure I had enough there so I was full. So, that should be good. Oh, what a day. So, I got the auger set up there still out of there. So, I got probably, oh, I don't know, 150 bushels. 130 bucks or something like that. Should be enough for another load. So, tonight I'll head up there. Uh, I'll calibrate the wheat and the floss here. And then I'll head up to, uh, head up north there where we're going to see wheat. Carter's up there spraying right now. And, uh, and then I'll bring the liquid fertilizer in the morning. I might just run with one tank for now. They're talking rain on Tuesday, so it'll be nice to get rolling and then once it's too wet to see, then I can fuck around with that uh, uh, flat deck and get those tanks plumbed in and whatnot. So, good enough. Well, I we got some done. 
liquid set now. Put a new flow meter on the old girl. Fill her with boss. I got the wheat tank full. It's full of fuel. Lights are working mint. That all seated there. I got about 50 acres done so far. Uh, I left off down there. So I'm hoping this all fit and then I can refill this truck right full of wheat and uh, then I should be good. Clean out a different truck at home for FOSS and I won't have to worry about it. So anyway, just getting her filled up here and away we go. ZZ Top, just rocking it, boys. Nice. Uh oh, a little dip there. That's all right. She'll pull out of her. Probably pull hard going up though. Let's see. Oh, here comes the liquid wagon. Oh yeah, I felt that a little wee bit. 1680 RPMs. Nice. Just pounding the acres. What are we at now? 74.5 nice 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 well we upgraded the old auto steer to the Omnistar and uh, well my line really hasn't moved so that's a good deal I think it was uh, 290 bucks for a month subscription but uh, I shut my nudge thing off so that's even better I haven't nudged yet all day that's fucking mint minty mint Anyway, uh, got to chop a U-ball here. Let's see all the shit a guy's got to touch. Fuck around. Shut them off. Kick the pedal for the auto steer. Lift the drill. Wiggle her around. Don't take out Rainer's fence. Seeded uh, green feed oats into them. Actually, it was just normal oats, but we cut them for green feed and bailed them, so it worked all right out. Worked out all right, out all right, right out. Nice. Anyway, gotta crank my tunes back up here. And uh, that's probably enough for this video. Ah. Good old Tim Hortons. Bunch of hair lips on guys. Alright guys. Well, thanks for watching. We're going to keep pounding the acres. We're obviously switched to wheat. So, give a like, subscribe. Don't forget to uh, uh, give a guy a thumbs up. Also, make sure to head on over to the old merch store. Link is in the comments. And uh, I'll leave a I'll leave a thing in the description, but you'll have to type it in because for some reason it's not sharing the link in the description. I don't know why, but anyway, it is what it is. So if you're watching on a cell phone, you can go ahead and get some merch. But if not, it's uh, it's cross.
Crossroads branding is what you gotta look up. And then uh, you can find, find my link on there. So there's some new shirts there. Just freshly designed this week. So they'll be going up. Uh, the brand new koozies will be there right shortly. And uh, I think the badges for the caps came in. So hats will also be available. So anyway, that's my little plug for this video. Thanks for watching. Keep it tight ass. We'll see you in the next one.